Intel 13 Gen Raptor Lex desktop Core i9 13900K CPU with 24 cores and 32 threads spotted. Are the sample almost on par with Ryzen 9 5950X? This desktop CPU are no mystery to us and it looks like the first 24 core chip, which should be the flagship Core i9 13900K, has already leaked up. And the Intel 13 Gen Raptor Lex desktop CPUs are expected to launch by the end of 2022. But uh, we already know what the CPUs will have to offer on the table while they are technically a refresh of the current 12th gen Alter Deck desktop CPUs featuring the same hybrid design. The integral x86 architecture will see a couple of changes in the form of more optimized cores and also higher core counts. Discovered by Tom's hardware within the Babco Crossbound software and Intel 13th gen Raptor Dex desktop CPU has popped up in a very early engineering state. In fact, uh, desktop chip as made apparent from its RPPLS listing. It tested on the Alder Lake reference platform with 32GB of DDR4-4800 memory. For the chip itself, we are looking at 24 cores and that include 8 P cores based on the new Raptor Cove architecture and 16 E cores based on an optimized Gracemont architecture. This is a 24 core and 32 thread chip which is an improvement of 50% uh, on the core and 33% on the thread count. The benchmark doesn't tell us the exact clock frequencies of the uh, Intel Raptor Lake desktop uh, CPU but this is the flagship core configuration so we are most likely looking at the Core i9 scoop and that should be known as the Core i9 3900K uh, or 3900. In terms of benchmarks the chip is still a very early sample and is uh, only just on par with AMD Ryzen 9 5950X while it lose to the Core i9-12900K by a huge margin. Replacing the Intel Alder Lake S 12th Gen Core family, the Intel Raptor Lake S lineup will be part of 13th Gen Core family and feature two brand new core architectures. These architectures will be feature Raptor Core as performance cores and an ensured Gracemont core which will be serving as efficiency cores. According to the uh, previously leaked data, the lineup will consist of three segments that were leaked out in the recent power recommendations. These include the K series enthusiast schools rated at 125 watt, 65 watt mainstream schools and 35 watt uh, low power schools. Coming to the top end variants, uh, we'll be getting up to 24 cores followed by 16 core, 10 core, 4 core, and 2 core variants. The schools are detailed, you see in this chart. The enthusiast 125 watt Intel Raptor Lake S desktop CPUs will feature Core i9 uh, models featuring up to 8 Raptor Cove cores and 16 Gracemont cores for a total 24 cores and 32 threads. Intel Core i7 lineup will consist of 16 core 8 plus 8 uh, and Core i5 models will consist of 14 core 6 plus 8 and 10 core 6 plus 4. Finally, we have the Core i3 models which will feature a 4 cores but without any efficiency cores. The lineup will also include uh, Pentium schools which uh, will feature just uh, two Raptor core cores. All core variants will feature a 32 EU 256 core enhanced XZ integrated GPU. Certain Core i5 and Pentium variants will also come configured with 24 EU and 16 UI GPUs. So let's talk about Intel Raptor Deck S desktop CPU platform details. Other details include a larger L2 cache which will be branded as Intel's own game cache for core CPUs and uh, clock speeds will feature a boost clock bump of uh, 200 megahertz. So we can expect up to 5.5 gigahertz boost clocks considering Alder Dell S desktop CPUs will top out at 5.3 gigahertz. The Intel Raptor Lake S chips will also support faster DDR5 memory speeds of up to uh, 5600 megabyte per second and uh, 6500 megabyte per second LPDDR5X along with retaining support for DDR4 memory as reports suggest. It looks like there will be three main dies which will be configured into these uh, schools starting with a top large die consists of 8 core and 16 uh, atom cores, a mid die with 8 core and 8 atom cores and lastly a small die with uh, 6 core cores and no atom cores. So that's it from now. If you like this video, please subscribe and press the bell icon for future notifications updates. Thanks for watching.